Hey you all, good morning. I'm going to Georgia to test a Pepwave. So a Pepwave is like a big ass router that connects to multiple carriers at the time. I want you to come with me. I'll show you how I travel, what I do. More importantly for you, I'll show you how it is to be a Rust engineer in the real world. <laughs> how about that? Let me tell you a little bit of what I'm doing. I'm going to one of our deployments in Georgia because we want to test this device. This is the uh, VR2 and it's a 5G pep wave and it uses a ridiculous number of antennas. These are all the antennas for this pep wave because each carrier uses up to four antennas. Why does it need as many antennas per carrier? Because it supports 4G and 5G bands. So it needs all these antennas to be able to tune into all of them. I think it's a total of eight antennas. So my job is to make sure that the route has perfect 5G coverage. So Kinesis was kind enough to send this keyboard for me to test. I won't have my advantage with me for this trip. So it will be interesting to see if I can get used to to the form keyboard, that's the name of it. If you're a macOS user, this should feel like home basically. heading to A60. There you go. It is weird how empty it is right now. Usually this is absolute chaos. It seems like my flight is already boarding. That's not good. <laughs> All right, I need to catch a flight. I'll catch you when I get to Atlanta. See you in a little bit. Before we get to Atlanta, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you like this new format. Right now I'm supposed to go to Peach Tree Corners. I'm supposed to meet an, an employee of me that I do not really know. Also, I'm supposed to meet the uh, T-Mobile technical team later today. They'll give me some 5G cards and I'll go ahead and install them in the car. Okay, we need to get an Uber. So let's see. Okay, we found that it's a curiosity lab. That's why it was not showing up. Seems like we actually have to walk a little bit. So we are down here and we need to go to the north parking lot. So let's do it. It looks like a very nice airport, to be honest with you. Wow, this is a big parking lot. It's crazy to see how much space is wasted with just a bunch of cars. And we are hoping to change that with my mobility. And this is where I will be working on the 5G connectivity. Thank you, sir. Yeah. It took a very long time to get the car up and going, but I wanted to be able to collect some data on day one. What we did is we put the pep wave on top of what we refer as the ADK or autonomous drive kit. So effectively it sits on top of all the computers and all that stuff. We drove around for like an hour, collected data, and this is what we got. So here you're seeing a plot of location and latency. So I added a red pin 
where latency is above 100 milliseconds. And if lower than 100 milliseconds, then it's a green pin. So here we see that most of the time we do stay green. So all the southwest area is green. Is the top top east side that looks red. Overall, I felt very happy with these results because I knew that as soon as we put that pep wave on the roof, we were going to get even better results, lower latency. I'm done for the day. There's a 35 minutes walk to the hotel. So let's just do it. I, I'm amazed by how awesome people are. People are very, very nice. So it really motivates you to work in a place like this. And then it smells just like wood, which is great. It's a very pretty, very stimulating place to, to be. Wow. This is literally, this is literally a bus stop. It's so pretty. Today was an awesome day. Super productive. The car was refusing to start a shift and there were like three or four problems and I was able to just work through them. And luckily, and you won't see me say this very often, but many of the problems were Python. And because Python is an interpreted language, I was able to solve those configuration issues. If it was Rust, it wouldn't have been possible because with Rust, you'll have to recompile the vehicle code. You will not see me say that often, but in this case, the fact that we use a lot of Python in the car actually saved the day. It's just a crown plaza, but whatever. I wanted to document it. <laughs> so let me show you the little room I got. I believe it's a minor upgrade over Holiday Inn, honestly. I guess the bed looks a tiny bit nicer. We get an exclusive view to the, to the freeway. Oh, it's more like a highway. We have the US flag, US flag, Georgia, and the Crown Plaza. Oh, that Hilton looks sick. <laughs> and I wish I was back there, but it is what it is. I'm traveling on the budget. Oh, Jesus, who's that guy? <laughs> okay, so I just had dinner, like downstairs at the restaurant, and I have to say that it was fantastic. I'm surprised. But now I need to edit the next Rust video. I think it's like an hour, 20 minutes worth of video, so that will take me like three hours. So we'll see if I can finish before midnight.
So it is 12.30 a.m. Obviously, I did not finish as I expect. Well, I did finish, but not as early as I expected. But I feel, I feel super happy and super grateful for these opportunities. And uh, there was a lot of walking today. today. Tomorrow we'll do some more How about that. Yesterday was pretty good. I got the 5G data that I, that I needed. I did see a couple of spikes of latency in the 5G networks. So one big problem that I saw yesterday is that I used the uh, built-in 5G router antennas. So instead what I'm going to do today is uh, I'm going to use the, the antenna that we have installed on the roof of the car. So that should get us much uh, better gain, much higher gain in situations where we actually need it. My flight is at 5 p.m. So I need to move. I'm already late, basically, but that's okay. I needed to sleep at least six hours. I need to get out of Peach Street Corners around 3.30 so that I have enough time to make it to the airport. I usually will walk, but literally I have no time. I need to be at the airport at five. I ask for a lift. They'll be here in seven minutes, I think. Oh, from the sudden, I don't really know why, but the location of the lift card started to bounce all over the place, as we see here. And I was starting to freak out because this went for a few minutes, actually. Uh, I think they canceled because this is a definitely a different driver. Well. I get to drive on an XT5. I work on those SUVs at GM, so that's kind of cool. All right, so we're back at the office. All right, so let me run some, run some tests. Hopefully I'll show you the cars, we'll see. All right, so here's my setup. I am using the, uh, like the built-in antennas between Brian and we're going to figure out how to mount this to the roof. But yeah, this is it. Yeah, so what we did today is we figured out a way, well, we figured more like Brian and figured out a way to mount the pep wave to the roof. Basically, if you do not take time to mount your pep wave to the roof or like have an external antenna like this, all your data is going to be But thanks to Brian, I'm, they figured out how to use double-sided tape. Brian helped me to drive mm -hmm. around. The overall impact of moving the pepperweight to the roof was huge. Here are the results. So this is a no-brainer. Obviously, using the pepperweight with the antennas on the roof is better, to nobody's surprise. But I want to show you something cool here. You probably see that there are a few red dots here. And that's because I accidentally disconnected the pep wave. So we had to strap it like a baby to the seat, which was a lot of fun to do. All right, so mission accomplished. Pretty much we crushed it. I didn't have to overstay or change my flight. The only reason why it was successful is because my coworkers. We are back home. This is Detroit and it's amazing. Guys, thank you so much for being with me during this trip. I really love documenting my trips like this. This is Detroit, and that's my flag. If you're into Rust, this video will help you. So check it out. See you the next time. Bye.